In the previous topics, we have discussed about a lot of theory about what is done and what are the selection criteria which, which should be used in order to appoint people for international assignments. In this topic, we are going to discuss about what happens actually in practice. In practice, kya hota hai? Theory ke toh humne baat kar li ke aise hona chahiye, ye ye humare paas tarikhe hai, jo ke kahi pe apply hote hai, kahi nahi hote. Lekin actually in practice kya hota hai? That is something that we are going to evaluate and discuss in this particular topic. So let's talk about what happens in expatriate selection in practice. Uh, number one is that mostly, although we talk about a number of uh, uh, appropriateness criteria that a person must be culturally um, conversant with the, with, the, with the host country and the person should have uh, various different characteristics in his personality. But in practice, what happens is that technical and managerial skill is the most dominant selection criteria. Uh, jo selection ke liye, uh, uh, hai criteria selection karte hai, jab managers select karte hai, to wo yehi dekhte hai ki is bande ki managerial ye technical ability kya hai. Uski vaja kya hai? Uski vaja ek to pehli baat ye ki jab ham apna statistical analysis dekhte hai service ke andar ke what is the foremost reason to appoint a person in an international assignment? We find out that uh, the foremost reason is to fill a position. So when filling a position is the most important reason why international assignment is created, uh, definitely uh, the technical and managerial skill would be something which would be evaluated to actually um, uh, fill that particular position. If other things are taken into account, the strategic requirement of a person at a particular place or how the strategic, uh, how, uh, how the strategic uh, goals of the organization can be achieved by appointing people at different places, uh, trying to be geocentric, trying to be regiocentric, but that is something which doesn't happen. What happened actually in practice in the real life is that people are appointed to fill a position and when filling a position is there, that means the technical and management skill is something would be, which would be taken into account. Another reason why uh, managerial and technical skill is taken into account is that it is something that is most easy to measure. Uh, you can measure a person's technical ability. And it is difficult to measure a person's managerial acumen or how a person would respond in cultural situations because you, you, you don't know what kind of cultural situations may come up and therefore there is a difficult, there is a lot of difficulty to predict how a person would be uh, responding in those particular cultural situations. It is something which is not obviously impossible to assess but is something which is difficult to assess. And uh, you need to have experts who can assess the various different subjective uh, aspects of a person's suitability for an international assignment. Technical skill or managerial skill is something which is the most easier to assess and therefore is always taken into account, mostly taken into account for selection. And uh, a research on uh, selection for international assignments by Harris and Brewster, uh, they argued that international selection often tends to be a coffee machine system. So coffee machine system kya hai ke, uh, hota hai hai ke agar aapko kahi pe international assignment ke liye uh, kisi um, uh, suitable candidate ki zarurat ho, uh, you are, you, you just, uh, uh, you know, talk about it when, uh, jab aap coffee banane ke liye jate hai, aur uh, aapke jo colleagues hai, aur peers hai, um, uh, for example, if you are working as head of HR, uh, head of uh, finance or marketing is somebody who's, who comes around and uh, you ask ki, marketing ki ek position jo hai, wo wa, uh, uh, Pakistan ki location mein required hai. To tumhare paas koi marketing ka acha banda hai jo hum Pakistan bhejwa sake ya hum uh, uh, Singapore bhejwa sake ya hum uh, South East Asia mein bhejwa sake. So, um, wo coffee machine ke upar discussion hoti hai aur coffee machine pe hi discussion jo hai wo, uh, that leads to uh, getting leads for the particular uh, uh, position 
کون سا بندہ جو ہے وہ اویلیبل ہو سکتا ہے سو وہاں سے ڈسکشن شروع ہوتی ہے اینڈ دین فار ایگزامپل جو ہیڈ آف مارکیٹنگ ہے وہ آئیڈینٹیفائی کر دیتا ہے کہ جی ہاں جی وہاں پہ ہمارا ایک بندہ ہے جو کہ اس وقت پروموشن بھی ایکسپیکٹ کر رہا ہے اور یہ بھی چاہ رہا ہے کہ اس کو کچھ انٹرنیشنل ایکسپوجر ملے سو لیٹس سینڈ دیٹ پرسن ٹو دا لوکیشن وچ از پوزیشن وچ از ریکوائرڈ ان پاکستان اور ان سم ادر لوکیشن وٹ ایور اٹ از سو اٹ از سم تھنگ وچ از ڈان ویری مچ ان فارملی آل دو ان دا بکس وی ریڈ اے لاٹ اباؤٹ فارمل سلیکشن سسٹم بٹ اٹ از سم تھنگ وچ یوزلی ہیپنز ریسرچ سیز دیٹ از سم تھنگ وچ یوزلی ہیپنز around the coffee machine so this is the coffee machine system of international selection and a lot of selection um, dynamics are based on the informal connections between people who are working in that organization uh, but on the other hand there are formal selection systems that are taken into account and that are employed to uh, select people for international assignments but they are uh used or employed in a uh, lesser proportion uh for example in germany us and uk uh, structured interviews are mostly used as a formal selection system so the person is interviewed in a structural manner and uh, also recommendations and self selection self selection means that a person selects himself he volunteers that okay he finds out that uh, a position is available in a particular location somewhere outside his own country and he volunteers himself and selects himself himself uh, that he wants to go to that particular position and that is something which is self selection so recommendations which i just talked about uh, the thing that happens at in the coffee machine system that somebody recommends or then people self select themselves as well um in japan recommendations and self te- uh, selection techniques and then it is also followed by tests of intercultural skills uh, so the japanese firms they test people on the basis of their intercultural skills as well uh in common uh, in comparison psychological and cognitive tests are used much less especially in germany and the us so in uh, in uh, us multinationals because uh, a large proportion of multinational belongs to the american multinationals so uh, a lot of data is always available about the us multinationals so in us multinationals cognitive and psychological tests are something which are used in lesser proportion usually it is about technical and uh, managerial skill that is used to employ and select people for international assignments so uh, in in actual in practice what happens is that people are selected informally and if you know, the formal systems are employed usually it is recommendations or uh, it could be interviews uh, and self selection is also something which is employed for um, uh, in informal selection systems and uh, in japan there is a little bit of difference that they do focus on a person's intercultural ability uh, so that the person can go and uh, successfully manage a position in a different culture so this is the situation of expatriate selection in uh, actual practice